Global financial markets experienced renewed volatility at the close of last week in the wake of Harry Paulson's announcement that TARP, the Troubled Asset Relief Program, would move from buying toxic mortgage debt and instead focus on propping up beleaguered American banks. While many are applauding the move, suggesting that stabilizing financial institutions will help unfreeze credit markets, others blast the change, saying that companies like AIG, which last week held its second six-figure conference at a luxury resort since it was bailed out in September, are extorting money from the American taxpayers. Some of the most vocal critics are even going directly to Wall Street, insisting there is only one response that financial leaders responsible for the current crisis can offer. <laughs> In order to appreciate the true significance of Paulson's announcement, we must examine the closest historical cognate we have available. Of course, many believe that the Hoover administration's creation of the Reconstruction Finance Corporation, which spent the equivalent of $200 billion to shore up troubled banks, is the most accurate analog. There is, however, a much more fitting comparison to this newest incarnation of TARP, methamphetamine. <laughs> Think about it. Rational, considered decision-making is necessary when making any kind of important decision, and not just ones that are globally imperative. From buying baby formula to balancing a checkbook, being able to understand how today's actions lead to tomorrow's outcomes is a vital skill. On the other hand, users of methamphetamine act somewhat differently, or as clinicians describe, fucking nuts. <laughs> is there a kitten in the microwave? Methamphetamine. <laughs> Are your teeth the consistency of old chalk? Methamphetamine. Did you try to shave your head with a bar of soap because the bus was late? Methamphetamine. When we consider the actions associated with the abuse of this drug, then certainly everything Henry Paulson does, and indeed has ever done, must be due to a long-standing love of what many young people and residents of Brockton refer to as sucking the glass dick. Here he is indicating where he wants the meth to go, past his rotting yellow teeth and into his withered black lungs. It would be easy to denounce TARP's restructuring as irresponsible, especially when considering the mounting inventory of toxic debt. It would perhaps be even easier to suggest many Americans might have been able to pay now-defaulted mortgages had gas prices, which lined the pockets of largely unregulated energy companies, been appropriately monitored and controlled. Of course, nothing is ever as easy as it sounds. Unless, of course, methamphetamine is involved. <laughs> Only then can we begin to understand the mindset of the financial leaders who allowed concepts like mark-to-market, credit swaps, and securitized mortgage bundles endanger our economy. And that was the news in context. <laughs>